Today's Alarm 101 is about entry exit delays. So obviously when you have an alarm system, you're gonna need time to come in and disarm the system before it starts going off. Our monitoring station is called, you're notified, the police department is called. So before all that happens, we give you a delay from an entry exit device. So whichever door you're gonna come in or multiple doors that you're gonna come in, we program what's called an entry exit delay, giving you that amount of time to come in and disarm your system before our monitoring station is called. We typically recommend 30 seconds or less. We'd like it to be as short of a time frame as possible in the event that it's a real burglary, but long enough for you to get to your keypad without being rushed. Brad, where do you recommend we, we locate a keypad so that we can do that properly? So as Aaron said, we wanna keep that entry delay as low as we can to just limit the time someone has before actual alarm is triggered. So when it comes to keypads, uh, a lot of times my recommendation is multiple. So, you know, I, I recommend having a keypad definitely close to your main entry uh, door so you can get to it quickly, get that turned off ASAP. Another very popular place to put keypads is in a bedroom, especially for somebody that's wanting that at home protection. You can put a keypad in your master bedroom. It's gonna give you the ability to arm the system for uh, whatever method you would like because you have a keypad in your bedroom and you can get full feedback through the keypad if there is a break-in, you know exactly where that break-in happens. So uh, that's what we typically see is close to an entry door and then in the master bedroom as well. Another great thing we can do with our keypads is what's called a duress code. So I wanna talk about duress codes a little bit. So this would be if someone uh, forced you into the house at gunpoint or whatever that may be, and they're forcing you to turn off the alarm. So what we can do for you with a prevention system is program what's called a duress code for you. So if somebody's forcing you to turn off the system, you can enter that code. The system's gonna appear to disarm while simultaneously sending a silent panic signal to our monitoring center that will then dispatch the police immediately. The other excellent feature related to a duress code is a duress password as well. So in the event that your alarm goes off, our our, an operator will give you a call from our monitoring station and you'll have to give a passcode to verify that you are an authorized individual to cancel that alarm. You can also set up that duress password so that you give that word or number, whatever you'd like it to be, the operator will accept it as if you had given the proper passcode, but then dispatch authorities. So lots of great ways to keep you safe in your home. Please reach out to us at Preventia for more information about how to secure your home.